One is, uh, Armin, we, uh, we firmly believe that uh, as far as your security is concerned, uh, primarily it has to be handled by yourself. So India has to handle its challenges on its own. Uh, and broadly, there are, there are two major challenges. Uh, the continental challenge, which is, as I said, an unsettled border. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are seeing, uh, so prior to 2020, uh, we were seeing something like three to 400, what we call LAC transgressions by the PLA. So it wasn't as if, you know, the border was quiet. Of course, uh, there was no violence, but we were seeing uh, an unsettled border could lead to incidents. So that's the, that's the continental challenge. And then, of course, is the maritime challenge where now we are seeing increasing presence of uh, PLA Navy in the Indian Ocean. And we feel at some stage, uh, you know, India has a geographical advantage in, in the maritime space. And so could that be getting diluted? So these are two sort of primary pillars of how to handle both the continental and the maritime challenge. And I think uh, India is also conscious that in the future, if you want to meet the challenge posed by China, uh, you need to have partnerships with like-minded countries. Right. And that is where, that is where you know, uh, groupings like Quad come in. That's where your partnership with countries like, like the US, like uh, Japan, all these come in, in, in that, that we have a common understanding of uh, what a peaceful Indo-Pacific should look like. And that's a concept which sometimes is challenged by China. And therefore, so we need to come together uh, in order to see that, you know, China's aggressiveness is countered to some extent. 